China is building a massive $7.7 billion energy project, three times as big as the world's current largest solar park, the Badla Solar Park. But why? Well, we all know that greenhouse gases, and most of all carbon dioxide, are the main dragon force behind climate change, which has quickly become one of the world's biggest issues. Since China has the largest share of global manufacturing, at 31.63%, it's no surprise that it's the world's leading greenhouse gas emitter, but the country is determined to put an end to this with heavy investments in clean energy. Back in January, China broke ground on a massive $7.7 .7 billion renewables project. So what exactly is this project? And how will it help China power its capital, Beijing? In this video, we're going to walk you through everything we know so far about this mega project and how China is cementing its name as a global leader in clear energy. Welcome back to PST Mega Projects. According to data by Climate Action Tracker, an independent research group, the country's total greenhouse gas emissions in 2022 were 14,400 metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalent, making it the world's largest climate polluter with nearly 30% of global emissions. Under the 2015 Paris Agreement, various countries pledged to keep global warming below 2 degrees Celsius, with the ambition of limiting it to 1.5 degrees Celsius. But now the world is heading towards nearly 3 degrees of global warming, and the 1.5 goal seems dead. In response to this, and to the pressure put on the world's biggest climate polluters, China started building a lot of renewables projects, and the newest one is in the country's northern Shaanxi province, and will cost $7.7 .7 billion. This project is a clean energy plant being built on an old coal mining site, and will combine wind turbines, solar panels, and battery storage, which will result in it having 6 gigawatts of wind and solar capacity, which is triple the capacity of the world's largest solar park, the Badla Solar Park in India. This is also more than 10 times the capacity of the United States' biggest solar farm, the Solar Star, meaning that it has what it takes to power approximately 545,000 American homes annually. In addition to that, it will have 3.4 gigawatt hours of energy storage once completed in 2025, according to a report in Shanxi Daily. The company working on the project is the state-owned energy company Jinning Holding Group Co., which began work on the site in early January of this year. The project will be connected to the state grid, which is responsible for powering Beijing, by the end of next year, which will help it feed power to Beijing and its surrounding areas, including the nearby city of Tianjin and the Hebei province, via the Datong Tianjin Ultra High Voltage Power Line. But this isn't the only renewables mega project that China is currently building, as it's also working on the $11 billion Kabuki Renewables Base, which is roughly the size of 20 central parks. Construction on the Kabuki Renewables Base started in 2022 and is expected to be completed in a year or two from now. When this project is fully operational, it will supply a staggering 16 gigawatts to well over a million homes. Additionally, it will be able to transmit 40 billion kilowatt hours of electricity to Beijing, Tianjin and Hebei province annually, with more than half from clean power. It is also set to become the world's largest renewables project in a desert region and will ultimately include 8 gigawatts of solar and 4 gigawatts of wind energy, plus 4 gigawatts of upgraded coal power to adjust for peak demand. As impressive as these two projects are, they are simply pieces in a vast network of around 225 renewables bases being built across China's western and northern deserts. All the projects in this network are well on track to have a generational capacity of 455 gigawatts, 60% of which will be solar and the other 40% will be wind. To put that into perspective, 455 gigawatts is equal to the combined green energy generation of the United Kingdom, Australia and Indonesia plus the total power capacity of Brazil. So, why is China investing so much money into these types of projects? The reason why China is investing so much money into renewable energy solutions is because climate change poses a significant risk to its important low-lying coastal cities, where one-fifth of China's population lives and one-third of its GDP is generated. In these cities, China already faces frequent floods, heavy rainfall, and storms which are a huge problem for China, and the country invested more than $140 billion in Sponge City technology to prevent them, and we covered that in an older video, so make sure to check it out if you haven't yet. In other words, China needs an immediate solution for its climate issues, as nearly 400 million people in the country are directly exposed to once-in-100-year floods, 
representing more than a third of the global exposure to floods. Not only that, but China loses around 1% of its GDP each year to floods. Another reason why China is spending billions on renewables is because more than half of the country's energy comes from coal, and during the COVID-19 pandemic, there was a coal shortage which caused China to go through an electricity crisis that saw it suffering blackouts for several days. Not only that, but the relations between China and Australia from which it imported coal for its coastal areas deteriorated in 2021 as Australia demanded an investigation into the origins of the COVID-19 virus, which first emerged in China. In response to this, China banned imports of Australian coal, leaving huge ships stranded at sea. At that time, Chinese authorities turned off all streetlights and ordered factories to open only part-time and companies not to heat their offices unless temperatures are close to freezing. In addition to that, workers had to climb dozens of flights of stairs after elevators were shut down to save power. This had a massive negative impact on the Chinese economy, as well as on Chinese citizens who responded to the restrictions with anxiety and confusion, worrying about being left in the cold or suffering hits to their businesses. So it's no surprise that China has extremely ambitious renewables goals. In November of 2023, signed a pact with the U.S. to triple renewable energy capacity by 2030, a commitment that was later adopted at the COP28 climate summit in Dubai. The country is also aiming to reach peak carbon emissions by 2030 on a path to hitting net zero by 2060, and it is now hitting its 2030 goal five years ahead of schedule, which gives us hope that it'll be able to hit their zero emissions goal in 2060 as well. But China's energy mega projects should be important to all of us around the world, not just China, because the installation of these projects has climate analysts guaranteeing that Chinese emissions and fossil fuel use will not only fall in 2024, but enter into an extended period of structural decline. And this will definitely reflect well on the rest of the world, considering how massive China's pollution is. The projects can also help boost China's trade, because if China continues to build these facilities and improve its technologies, its neighboring countries might see an opportunity in buying surplus clean energy from China. For example, Mongolia, which is currently China's major coal source, is acutely aware of China's greenification and is now trying to find alternative ways to generate energy and income as coal demand collapses. Mongolia and China share the Gobi Desert together, and Mongolia's side of the desert is just as capable of generating solar and wind energy, so China can even export its expertise and technology to Mongolia as part of its Belt and Road Initiative, or BRI, which would be a win-win situation for the two countries. Around 155 countries have signed up to the BRI, so China has a lot of opportunity there, even though many now consider the initiative controversial and problematic. Still, proponents in the World Bank have noted that BRI involvement in a country can raise its GDP by upwards of 4%, and that it can also boost the world's economy and gives these countries access to infrastructure development that, in many cases, wouldn't normally be available to them. Now that we've reached the end of this video, we can say that since China is the largest polluter in the world, its efforts in reducing that pollution should inspire the rest of the countries that are contributing to this massive pollution, like the US and India, to replicate what China is doing as we are currently in a race against time and the climate crisis, and we need immediate solutions for it. Well, that is everything for now. What do you think? Will China be able to reach its renewable energy goals? Please let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't, please subscribe and leave a like for this video your support helps us continue our work. Thanks again for your support, and I will see you in the next one.